everyone. Welcome to my channel, Rolling with Ellie. I am so excited to share with you one of my favorite recipes. This amazing blueberry cream cheese coffee cake is always a hit wherever I bring it, and I'm sure it will be for you as well. Also, if you could help out my channel by liking and subscribing, this will encourage you to push my videos out for more people to see them, and I will be so grateful. Well, let's get started. Go ahead and preheat that oven to about 350. Now this is a three layer coffee cake plus the fruit. Your first ingredient is five and a half tablespoons of chilled butter. Chop this butter into small pieces. Go ahead and place that butter into your bowl. And now you want to add your half cup of sugar, one and a half cups of flour, half teaspoon of baking powder, half teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, one whole egg and one egg white. And now you're gonna add one cup of sour cream. Here's where you may need to use a little bit of muscle, so I like to use a wooden spoon. Sometimes I do use my hands. I'm a very big advocate, especially if I'm serving this to people, of washing your hands. Uh, so you just want to be very sanitary. And just get all of those ingredients nice and incorporated. You want a nice, smooth texture. You don't want any, you don't want any lumps in there. So now you want to spray your springform pan and just to note here, you only want your dough to be about a half inch in height after you press it down. So if you're using a smaller pan, you're not going to use your whole dough. And if you're using something like a cupcake tin, you only want it to be about a quarter of an inch high. So my little trick here when I'm pressing this dough down is sometimes I just spray my hands a little bit. It helps me to get the dough pressed down and uh, the dough not stick to my hands as much. And you don't want any gaps or any holes and you just want to smooth it around a little bit and you only want it to come up maybe about a half inch high on the sides of your pan and you can smooth it with your spatula if you need to and you want it to look like this and now we're gonna go ahead and make our cream cheese layer this is the middle layer and you want eight ounces of cream cheese room temperature or you can nuke it if you need to and you want to mix it just a little bit just to see how smooth it is and if it needs to be microwaved or warmed more Add a half cup of sugar and then you're going to add one egg white and then you're going to mix it so what I usually do is I start with a wooden spoon and then I, I continue on with a whisk now the whisk that I normally use I have had it for years and I had gotten this little whisk you see right here from Pampered Chef many years ago and this little thing is great for getting the lumps out especially in small bowls if you have a couple of little lumps here or little chunks that's okay you just want it to be as smooth as possible and to look like what you see in here a little silky smooth look and this it, It'll just be a nicer texture when you're tasting it or when you're cutting it or tasting it and um, it just it makes a little bit of a difference. So now what you want to do is pour this cream cheese mixture over your bottom layer, your cake layer, and then top that with whatever fruit of choice you, you prefer, raspberries, blueberries, sliced apples, whatever it is that you like. And then next we are going to make our streusel topping, which I also like to call it the crumble topping. Pour a half cup of flour in your bowl and then a half cup of sugar. Next, you wanna add three tablespoons of butter. What you wanna do is you're going to just work that in with your fingers a little bit. You're just going to, you know, just do like you see in the video, you're just kinda of working it through your fingers. You're trying to get a crumbly kind of a feel. You want different size chunks, so you don't have to be nervous if it's not like a consistent size and little chunks you just want a nice crumbly mixture and this way when it is on top of your um on top of your coffee cake it's just going to have a nice crispy chewy delicious sugary um texture and it's going to be a very nice balance with your coffee cake so what you see right here is how it should look as you can see if you look a little close you can see bigger chunks little chunks just not too big 
So now we're going to go ahead and pour this over our uh, over our layers already that we already have. We have that cream cheese layer with the blueberry. So you're just going to sprinkle this like such over your uh, middle layer. And just try to do it, you know, as even as possible. If you're a little off, no worries. I don't think anyone's going to notice if it isn't perfect. It's going to be so good they're not going to notice any 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 flaws in this because it's just going to be so delicious and this is what it should look like so in this case when i was making this i had a little bit left so um, i was making some of these uh, samples for work and for some friends so i decided to go ahead and put some in a little pie in a little not a pie tin but a little um cupcake tin so in this case i only had my cake batter on the bottom only about a quarter inch high added my cream cheese and just left enough room on top for the blueberries and the streusel and I do wipe some of this off before I put it in the oven, only because it is a little easier when I want to clean it. And now we are placing this in our oven. And please remember that your smaller ones will cook faster than the, the larger one. The larger one you're going to have in the oven for about an hour. And your cupcake tin will bake in about 20 minutes. So here is what it will look like when you take it out of the oven. Doesn't it look delicious? Look at this beauty. Mm, I get hungry just looking at it. And here we are at the place that we finally get to enjoy digging into this delicious dessert. We get to decorate if we want. I love using all of these nice dishes. I like making things look nice, look pretty, look presentable. Uh, like when I go to a party or get together, I love bringing my dishes with me. Trust me, this is easy. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave a comment. I will make sure to answer you and help you in any way that I can. Well, everyone, thank you for rolling with me today, and I hope you will join me at my next video where I will be sharing a delicious fall recipe, cinnamon walnut coffee cake. Please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode of Rolling with Ellie.